All right. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be going through Amp D, the Love Ramp, and this is episode 5 of the series. The last video, we went over Amp C, and how to AFK it, and I'd highly recommend watching all the other videos before watching this one, and I believe, let's just get to the spawns. So firstly, just to get started, they're going to be attacking from south. They're going to be attacking from these positions, so I'm going to be using the atomizer wig and they're going to be uh, spawning. So they're going to be spawning up here and over here. And so the whole point of this block off over here is that they're going to be going around. They're going to be pathing around here. And they're going to be going coming down here. They're going to be pathing all the way underneath here. And they're going to be stuck in a guy's trap. And we're going to be building it from scratch right now. So as you can tell, I think you've already seen, I've already gotten started. Uh, also, to get started, we're going to want to place half floors over here with wall launchers. The whole point of this is to is that some husks try to brush through this wall. So we're going to want to make a cover up over here. Some will try to um, smash this so that this is going to bounce them backwards. And this is going to redirect their pathing. So they're going to be pathing back down to the geyser trap. Now, over here, we're going to want to place healable wall spikes and just block off roofs over here on top of here. With just another, just floors underneath like this, traditionally. I'll also get started, I'll be building more of the block off after this, after I explain through the wall spikes. So, on the wall spikes, we're going to want uh, he um, healable attached. Uh, wall spike, so 5% of its max health every 10 seconds. Actually, I do not believe I went through the wall launches over here. So for the wall launch over here, we're going to want double reload speed and 4 durability on these. Uh, we're going to want lots of durability because there's no need for tons of impact on them because all they're good there for is to redirect the husks to the geyser. Anyways, I'm going to get to building the block off. Uh, we're going to be building the block off for around the first 5 minutes, so... You can, if you want, you can block off, you can skip this section. My wrong word, wrong wording. So we're just going to block off this area. More blockers on top of here. More on the back. More on the front. Or we're, gonna, we're just going to want more block off on the side over here. Now over here, we're going to want to make more block offs. So we're going to want to make three walls on top of here like this. Now over here, we're going to want to place some floors and some more block off on top of here. Over here, we're just going to want to keep on making more block off on top of here. Now down here. We're going to want to make one by one. We're going to want to make these empty because we want to stop the husks from pathing. So if you make cones, what's going to happen is that it's, this is going to allow the husks to be able to jump down and break these walls. So we're going to want to leave these empty because it's going to be a waste of structures. Otherwise, they'll just be uh, bashing on this wall here. So we just want to keep this more empty over here. So another wall pyramid over here, more pyramids, more block off, and that's it. So what we're going to want to do, just a few more block off over here. Now over here, we're going to want to block off slightly more. So pyramids back here. I'll also explain my AFK position because a lot of you have been asking for it. Just more block off back here. Now I'm back here, we're going to want to place just another two back here. One more. Another pyramid back here to deter the husks. We want to build another wall over here. Another block off, more block off over here. Now on top of here, we're going to want to make one more layer on top. Build out of lords, just more block off. A 
Right now down here, we're just gonna make another block off on top of here. Underneath here, we're gonna wanna place more walls underneath here. So not coming on top of here, so another pyramid down here. Now over here, we're gonna wanna leave this open. We're blocking this area off. I don't want to block off this area slightly more. And again, just more block off. Now, over here, we're going to want to make pyramids. We're going to want to make two walls by the amp, like this. And then another wall on the other side, like this. Now, on top of here, we're going to want to make another wall. We're going to want to make another block off like this over here. We're now going to be moving on to the geyser trap now. So, alright, building four floors like this. Now, over here, we're going to make two half edited floors and just more block off on top of here. Double windowed ramps. Roofs on top of here. Might actually make so no, just one other wall on top of here. Now over here we've mini we should have manipulated the meteor. So we're gonna wanna get started by placing walls on the side for the geyser trap. Cover up this area over here, more block off on the side. Actually, preferably destroy all of this. They're going to be passing downwards into this area here. Actually, instead over here, we're going to place another wall here. Reposition the pyramids. Now on top of here, we're going to make an edited uh, ramp. This facing upwards. Now continuing on, we're just gonna want to continue editing this floor up here. Another wall up here. Another wall down there. Just continue building out this up. Now make sure these areas are covered. Delete this area. Now, uh, now what we're gonna want to do is that we're gonna want to. Build a wall here. We're going to want to place a wall launcher with uh, four durability and double reload speed. Now, over here, what's going to happen is that the husks are going to be coming through here and they're going to be stuck in an infinite loop. Now, out here, we're going to want to place a few wooden, uh, what, wall spikes, healable wall spikes, like before we placed on the outer edges. We're going to want to edit these up to make it clean because for some reason if you don't edit these this is going to make the husks glitch out and for some reason they'll phase outwards now over here we're going to want to place wooden sport uh floor no wall spikes healable wall sp floor spikes and then we're going to want to he have healable wall dynamos if i can find them so double crit damage double critical rating on this wall over here. Now over here we might have some husk trying to path over, so we're gonna to want to place two of these on the on the other side over here. Now over here actually we might want to extend this area off. We want to might extend the block off area over here. And if I'm right, this should be the other area blocked off sufficiently well. Anyways, let's move on to the other side now. Over here, we're going to want to place double crit damage and critical rating uh, zapper maxes on top of here. Like this. This is to stop pass because we might get a few uh, mist monsters trying to bash over here, especially blasters. Now on top of here, I've had a few issues with some lobbers and stuff trying to break through at D. So we're going to want to place one wall over here. We're going to create a block off over here. 
a long block off on top of here like this. Extending out like this. There we go. And now most of these walls are going to replace uh, the zapper maxes I mentioned before. Or wall dynamos, doesn't matter to your preference. Now, if I'm correct, um, we should build another pyramid. This should be the entire build. Anyways, we're going to go through the mechanics of the build one more time, or once more, shall I say. So, we're going to take out our deatomizer. They're going to be spawning over here. They're going to be funneling upwards up here. Some husks will try to come through here. They're going to be hit by the wall launcher. This will redirect their movement. They'll be funneling downwards over here. Taking the pathing over here. The half laws, some husks will be trying to break through here. So wall launcher will knock them down. And then they'll be stuck in the geyser trap. And if some get through somehow, then they'll be killed over here. And they'll be going for the compute the uh, computer over here at the back of the amp. Anyways, I believe this is the end of the uh, amp build. Anyways, if you think this build is decent, and if you like the content, uh, make sure to if you want to sub and you want to see future content, that'd be great and helpful. If you need any help with the builds, uh, feel free to join the Discord down below in the link below. Um, yeah. Peace. Thanks for watching.